Hi everybody. Sorry I haven't posted in a while, but I had to get a haircut. Did you know that it was possible to drown in the desert? Well, it's actually true. People can and have drowned in the desert. And while deserts typically see very little precipitation on an annual basis, they are subject to that occasional torrential downpour. The rain comes in very swiftly and very suddenly. And before you know it, there is a flood sweeping through the land, drowning anything or anyone in its path. But why does the water just pile up and sweep through the desert like that? I mean, it's a desert, right? You would think that that desert ground is so dry and thirsty that it would just drink up and absorb all of that rain just as fast as it came down. But that's not the case. You see, the desert ground can become so dry that it starts to harden up like a stone. It, it, it sets just like, like concrete. And you've seen what happens when rain hits concrete. It just runs off, looking for softer ground into which it can be absorbed. And when that torrential downpour is over, well, the desert ground is just as dry and just as hardened as it was before. It's as if the rain never hit it at all. Now, wh where am I going with all of this? Well, you may have already guessed. You see, the human heart can be like that desert ground. And I ought to know. My heart was, and quite frankly, frequently still becomes that way. Disappointment, resentment, and anger, and bitterness, and especially ingratitude can harden our hearts. And if we don't deal with it, well, our hearts will become as hard as concrete. And when God's blessings rain down on our hearts, well, our hearts are too hardened to receive them. And God's blessings just run off of us, looking for softer ground a softer heart into which they can be absorbed. And we are left as dry and hardened toward God as if he had never blessed us at all. So let me ask you, do you feel like God is not blessing you? Because I've felt that way. Sometimes I still do. Are you feeling so down and so angry and so bitter that you're thinking, you know, God is going to have to give me a major blessing to get me out of this. And yet that major blessing that you think you need just isn't happening. I urge you, I, I implore you to check your heart. It may be just like mine. It may be like that desert ground. It's hardened and resistant to the rain. God might not be blessing you because if he did, your heart just couldn't receive it. And it would just run off of you, leaving you no better than before. Now, I'm not saying this to depress you, because the situation is not hopeless. Desert ground can be reclaimed. But it's not going to be reclaimed by a one-and-done downpour, and now the desert is a lush oasis. It, it doesn't work that way. Now, the desert has to be reclaimed slowly, with a little water at a time, allowing time for that water to work its way into the ground. And as the desert ground begins to soften, it's able to absorb more water until that desert ground can support life, until things can grow out of it. Now, if this situation feels familiar, I want to encourage you to reclaim that desert ground in your heart. And here's how you do it. Start by intentionally looking for and thanking God for all the little things that you enjoy in life. It can be something as simple as, thank you, Lord, that I have food to eat today, when so many millions of people do not. Thank you, Lord, that I had a place to spend the night last night when so many people are sleeping in a doorway or under a bridge. Heck, 
Thank you, Lord, that I woke up today when so many thousands of people did not wake up today. And as you start to cultivate an attitude of gratitude, the desert will be reclaimed. Your heart will begin to soften and it will become ready to receive new blessings from God. Hopefully this has helped you in some way. I thank you very much for watching. God bless you.